Hey family, it's Christy. I'm the Mobile Home Diva. And in today's video, I'm going to be interviewing Nick Castleberry. He is the marketing coordinator for Titan Direct Mo Manufactured Homes. Y'all give it up for Nick. Hey, <laughs> Thank you, audience. So Nick, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us okay. a little bit about what you do. Okay, so I am the marketing coordinator for Titan Factory Direct Homes. Um, we are a division of retail manufactured home dealers for Champion Homes in the southeast of the United States. Um, I've been with Titan for coming up two years now. Um, I've been their marketing coordinator for about six or seven months. Prior to that, I was the operations manager handling the contractor work, ordering the home, and getting your home delivered and set up and all that stuff. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for having us and for answering just a few questions about mobile home buying. Yeah, I appreciate you guys coming out. It's been really great that y'all been here. Thank you so much. First question, what helpful advice can you give interested persons when looking for their first home? Well, I would suggest that I guess if you are looking for a manufactured home, you've either um, got a bunch of land or you'd rather live in the country or there's an interest that you have in a manufactured home. Um, as far as buying a manufactured home, I would say that things that you need to be aware of are what kind of land you have. Um, does your land already have septic? Well, are you going to be on city water? Do you need electricity? If you have electricity, does it um, have a 200 amp powered meter box? Um, and with that, you know, look for your county regulations on manufactured homes. Um, does your property allow for a manufactured home? Um, do you need any kind of permits that may restrict you from having a manufactured home. There's all kinds of stuff out there um, and on our website and other websites you can you know find out information about what you know what kind of permits that you need go to the city um, things like that. So it sounds like you probably need to start with the zoning department yes. beforehand. Yeah if you don't know or if you've got our land already or you don't know if you you know, need land in a certain spot, the very first thing to do, I would suggest, is go to either a realtor mm -hmm. or go to the city permit office and figure out what zones within the county are permittable for a manufacturer home to be placed on. Very good. Thank you so much, Nick. Question number two. Finding land can be difficult in this day and age. Okay. What should be the process when looking for land to place your mobile home? Now, I know you talked a little bit Literally, about it. Literally, yeah. yeah. So, this, this can get into a lot of different things. Um, right here where we're at, we're in Georgia, um, the codes and regulations and laws and things for manufactured homes is a lot different than Florida or Alabama or anywhere else that you'd be. When buying land, uh, over the last year or two where I've helped customers find land, the best thing you can do is get in your car and you drive out in the county and you find some land. Um, you can find land on Zillow, you can find land online, you can find land through a realtor, but a lot of the times the best properties that we have found is just from getting in your car and looking yourself or having your family or your friends going and looking with you. Usually that's one, cheaper land. Mm -hmm. Two, it's land that already has um, septic and well hookups, mm -hmm. and that gets into another point. Um, when looking, I would suggest trying to find land that already has um, a well functioning or not, it's cheaper than you know to fix it up than to get a new well. Gotcha. Um, septic. A lot of the times you can be on city um, water and septic. Sometimes you have to pay to put that in. Usually septic isn't you know one of the most expensive things that you can do for your land, but um, it's helpful to go ahead and have it if it's already there. Um, another one would be. Find a piece of land or property that has an old mobile home on it, one that may can be just torn down and taken away because a lot of the times those pieces of property have been abandoned and you can get it for a lot cheaper. Mm -hmm. um, That's a gem. Yeah, it can be. There's all kinds of people where we paid, 
you know, anywhere from five to $10,000 to demolish the house and get it out of there and put the new house in there, whereas you're at $10,000 just for putting a well in. Mm -hmm. So um, sometimes it's cheaper to find uh, a piece of property that has an old mobile home on it that you can tear it out and just get rid of. Um, and then also, one last thing on land, I would try to find out if it is in a flood zone. You can get on FEMA's website and look up the address. If it doesn't have an address, just find the area that you're wanting to um, buy the land at and see what kind of flood zone it's in. Mm -hmm. If it's in a flood zone, you'll have to pay a lot more for your um, home insurance mm -hmm. and your property insurance, and it's just a lot easier, and you don't have to hassle with all that if it's not in a flood zone. Gotcha. So that's usually a surprise is finding out that the property is on a flood zone. Gotcha. Yeah. Very good. Some very good suggestions. Yeah, Thank please. you so much. Uh, question number three. Okay. What is the difference between trailers and the manufactured homes of today? Well, <laughs> that's funny because, you know, a lot of people call them different things. Um, in the South, it's mobile home, it's a trailer, it's a manufactured home. Um, and the only difference is this, it was, I believe it was June 15, 1976. Any manufactured home built after June 15, 1976 um, is considered a manufactured home. Any home built prior to that is considered a mobile home, whereas that's where people get the trailer from. And the only difference is that after that date um, is when the federal government started to regulate the homes being built. Mm -hmm. So since then they created the urban, uh, the Department of Urban and Housing Development um, authority which is who regulates how the homes have to be built mm -hmm. um, but traditionally since then there's not much that's changed other than the name and then that they've got um, regulations they have to follow but even prior to then they were always followed right. you know up to a certain code so nothing's changed other than the word mobile and manufacturer and of course you know there are parents yeah. You know, as as the yeah, years are a lot nicer now. Right, they're yeah. a lot nicer. But what I like about um, the federal regulated law that went into effect is that there's you know these homes have to pass a two hundred and fifty point inspection. That's right. You know, and so it makes them much more safe and secure. And yeah. I really appreciate that. We did a lot of research on that. Yeah, and that's yeah. Was, when you close on a home loan or a home purchase with Titan. We actually give you a specific paper that gives you the phone number and the contact for the HUD offices in case you know you were to ever have any issues or anything. Mm -hmm. You know who to go to if there's ever an issue with your home yes. that has to do with the code and regulation of who built it. So you know it's useful to have that kind of information and to know about it because there's people out there that don't know and they can have an issue with their home and you know they don't know who to contact. And so it is helpful to have that department. Absolutely. Yeah. Explain the difference between the panel walls and the finished drywall. Panel walls and finish. So the only difference is, well, there's a couple, but there's, I'll start with the first one, the price point. Depending on, you know, how much you're willing to spend or can afford, you know, having drywall versus a panel wall can increase the price, you know, dramatically in ways. You know. Right. Nothing against those with no. panel walls, because I got panel walls. Yeah. Right? And my husband and I do notice that, you know, sometimes it feels cool in our house mm -hmm. and we think it's cool outside. And when you walk outside, it's it's really warm. It, yeah. It's warm. So even though they're not as insulated, I feel as the sheetrock or the drywall, I still see that they are really energy efficient. So yeah. that is a plus. And then you get in, I mean, there's a little bit more you can get into other than that is, you know, what type of insulation you have, how yeah. thick your insulation is. Your insulation is probably, you know, a lot thicker than a traditional older, you know, mobile home from years ago where you right. can see it and it was, um, very thin nowadays the construction on the inside is a lot better mm -hmm. so even if you were to go with panel versus sheetrock you'll save money you know in certain areas if you're wanting like say a better bathroom right. you could save money on your sheetrock and paneling by going that route and having a better bathroom but gotcha. yeah perfect thank you and last question why tighten homes mm -hmm. um I don't want to 
you know, talk bad about other retailers or manufactured home sellers. I believe everybody has, you know, their own knack and how they view things and how they operate. Um, but at Titan Factory Direct Homes, um, mm -hmm. we've made it so you can virtually tour all of the houses or the majority of them online. You can just, it's like a video walkthrough. You press the play button and you can navigate through the homes yourself um, online with customers. And, and when people come in, they're not, you know, a customer to us. When they come in, we treat them like family. Um, we respect any kind of wishes that they have you know there's nothing that we do that's um, negative in any way towards the customer uh, we believe that people are different we help you through the whole entire process from start to finish um, we've had people that come in and they don't have land they don't have anything they don't know anything about buying a home and we will from start to finish help them find land you know get them a mortgage approved help them get the land um, acquired um, give them different options about, you know, what type of mortgages and, and then we help them through the whole process of the home being delivered. You know, we're setting it up, we're getting your septic installed for you, and we're getting your well done, we're getting all these um, things taken care of, we'll get your permits done. Mm -hmm. And even on our website, we um, state that type of those things differently. We've shopped around at other places. We, we've gone through the price, or not the pricing, the process of how people operate. And we've taken that into an account at Titan to show, you know, this is, this is where things go wrong in places. This is how we can help people um, in the process and make it better. Mm -hmm. um, we explain everything to the customer. And I, I think that's what the biggest um, difference is, is the education level between a customer and what we know. We try to give them every piece of knowledge that we know, which you know could be helpful to them, mm -hmm. and um, help the customers out. Um, I know when I started in this business, it's very, very, very confusing. Mm -hmm. I know when you purchase your home, there's a lot of a lot of questions. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of ups and downs, and a lot of things that you don't know about, um, and you get hit with one day, you know your septic's being worked on the next hour later you find out something's wrong you gotta have something done you know right. and then two weeks later you're not done with it yet right so prior to any of that happening that was my job as an operations manager was you know explaining these things there's a lot that goes into it and at Titan Factory Direct Home I feel like we do everything up front for you and we try our best to explain everything and um, I think that's what makes it a better process here than anywhere else. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Nick, for having thank us God. out. We, you guys, we have thoroughly enjoyed touring these homes. Titan Homes has some beautiful homes. I can't wait for you to see the series. We're sitting right now in the Barcelona so the next tour that you see will be the Barcelona, okay? So stay tuned for that. If you'd like to contact Titan Factory Direct Homes, their uh, website will be in the description box, along with a list of uh, anyone here that can help you, their general manager, their salesman, Nick. All the information will be in the description box below. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate y'all. I really enjoy the channel. Um, this is where I found you guys. Was yeah. <laughs> on YouTube looking up you know mobile home things and I loved you guys your uh, channel and reached out a couple months ago and mm -hmm. ever since then I've been excited to get you guys here I'm glad y'all are here and we're doing it and yeah it's been great thank y'all so much you're welcome we're glad you reached out thanks for having us thank you I really appreciate y'all